How's it going YouTube? My name is Travis with Terra Tinkering and today I'm going to show you how we built this ecosphere as well as what we wound up finding lurking in its depths. Yesterday I went out to a park and I was looking for basically to try to find stuff to make an ecosphere and that's when I came across this bottle. And after I saw the bottle there it just it seemed like a really neat idea to make an ecosphere from the plants and soil that I found at the same park that I found an abandoned bottle. So we're gonna clean this up, we're gonna put some stuff in it, and hopefully we get a nice little small closed ecosystem that we can have in this jar. All right, so now that I cleaned the bottle, I'm going to set up our ecosphere in it. Um, yesterday, we went to the park and got some of the stuff to try to set up the ecosphere. In this jar, I've got some of the stuff I pulled from the watery area. And in this jar, I've got some of the stuff that I pulled from what looked to be like a dried stream bed. I think I'm going to put some of the drier stuff from the creek bed in first and then I'm going to try to fit as much of this stuff that was from the wet um, area in as possible. So I'm definitely finding some pieces of like broken down bark and stuff um, even in this area that was the uh, dry creek bed. I can see some old leaves, pieces of twigs and stuff so hopefully they'll add some good stuff in there for anything that might be living. All right, so I'm gonna add in some of the stuff from the water area that I found now. I did manage to find one aquatic plant. I'm really excited about that. All right, now I'm gonna put the rest of the solids from uh, the water area into here. There's definitely quite a bit of roots and stuff. Now I'm gonna add some water. First bit of water I'm gonna add, I'm going to put a little bit into the containers that had water previously from the lake. So the water I'm using right now is reverse osmosis water. Um, we just get it at one of those local fill up your own water jug kind of things. It's not good to use by itself when it comes to things like this because the way it's filtered is pretty much going to strip anything useful out of the water. So here it is, all filled up and sealed. What I'm going to wind up doing with this is give it about a day for everything to settle and then we're going to take a closer look and see what we can find.
Well, there you have it, YouTube. When I came down the next morning to take a look inside of this jar, I was nothing short of amazed at just how much life was actually inside this jar. When I first did it, all I was expecting at most was maybe some squiggly lines that were moving around. But when we really got looking at it, I couldn't believe that there was an aquatic isopod in there. As someone that keeps terrestrial isopods, I was completely blown away that I've managed to catch an aquatic isopod completely by accident. I had no idea he was there until the next day. It was an awesome experiment. I definitely feel like going back to the same area and hopefully catching some more buddies for what we decided to name Charlie. We believe Charlie's scientific name is Acellus aquaticus, but it was a little bit hard to find definitive photos online, so if you happen to know what he actually is, feel free to drop that in a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.